this is <laughs> a Lego style kimono pen with my own momiji. Let's go. Yeah. So this company is called Shiki Sakura. Shiki Sakura, where I got this. And look what the beautiful inner garden they have here. See, and here actually you can also take photos. Like they have a photo studio and they would take you around to and it's not even expensive, it's like one photo ten dollars. So, mm, just, I don't have the time today. But yeah, this is a company and we are actually in the heart of Kyoto, near Kiyomizu Temple. <laughs> so, everything is around here. It's very simple. This street here, Yasaka Street, there are many shops, souvenirs, and you will pass by it if you want to see the amazing Kiyomizu. <laughs> New rules in Kyoto. They really are becoming assholes. <laughs> it's not the first time I'm saying that even Gion, you cannot take pictures anywhere. And so yeah, here you're not allowed to take any pictures before 10.30 a.m. So we gotta check on the clock right now. All around us, the red momiji trees. So actually it's a good timing now to see them. However, you know, it really depends how the sun shines on them because to get that glow red, you need to see them from underneath. Like if we just watch like that, you see it appears washed out. Yay. So here I can show you the entire design of my kimono. And especially check the back side, it's so pretty. And we are at Kiyomizu, the most iconic temple of entire Kyoto. So funny. <laughs> It's so cute, I'm so happy. See, that's why even I, whenever I come to Kyoto, I'll wear a kimono. Because <laughs> here, like, you're legally allowed to do foolish things like this. <laughs> Beautiful. So we are getting closer and closer to the entrance of Kiyomizu, which means pure water. And there are dragons here guarding the waters. I brought my own momiji. Although there is full of momiji around, but it's so cute. And they are saying here that this is sacred water and treat with utmost respect. So see people go and then wash their hands and they pray. This is how you are supposed to do. <laughs> Not just get the entrance ticket and pass in, but actually rinse yourself and purify yourself with this water before entering the temple. And by the way, there is one sakura here that's always blooming in this time. So we are actually coming for the autumn leaves. But this one is very like spring. And he always does it. <laughs> it's the second time already that we get to see this beautiful mix of spring and then autumn next to each other. It actually smells so nice because they are cooking like the traditional Kyoto um, yatsuhashi and all kind of snacks. And it smells... <laughs> Beautiful. And of course all kind of fancy, like really expensive shops, matcha, Snoopy chocolate for some reason. <laughs> oh, more foods. <laughs> oh, we don't have time, but I would like to take such a gin rickshaw. Because the, the poor guy is going to run around here, the streets, and um, show us beautiful places. And the good point of this is that they are professional photographers. They are really good. They know what the girls want, so they would stop in like scenic places and take your photos. So that's a great advantage when you are alone to get such a jinriksha boy and have him take photos. So we are actually lucky to see the carpet of autumn leaves and still have very beautiful leaves above us. So we are surrounded in autumn leaves and this is one of the most beautiful places in entire Kyoto to see that. <laughs> and it's so nice, the mix of some are green and some are red, so you get such a variation of color. See for example, this one is the reddest in the entire park, I cannot explain how vibrant the color is and the leaves are still quite wide open so they are not that much burned by the cold 
like other leaves it's an intensity of red that is magnificent so yeah that's why japan is so wonderful <laughs> the only country in the world with red trees <laughs> okay i'm kidding but yeah look at it 